Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to be talking about one of my very favorite applications that I have on my computer. That is Figma, F-I-G-M-A dot com. Figma. What is Figma and why do you need to know about it? Well, Figma is the most modern design tool out there. This thing has so many features. It's out of this world. You can see that it can feel very much like an illustrator or a sketch type of application or maybe a framer where what you're doing is you're working primarily with vector based things as in a vector scales. It can get as big as you want because it's just data rather than working with raster based things like a Photoshop type of application where everything is in pixels. Not to say that you can't do pixel stuff in Figma, but again, the primary application of Figma is the fact that it is vector based. Because of that, you can create anything from illustrations to icons to uh, layouts to entire usable clickable prototypes that involve a lot of different things. And I'm going to show you some real things here. And there's also a new thing that you can see. It says Fig Jam is out of beta. Fig Jam is one of the cooler aspects of this application. That's a brand new thing that we'll talk about as well in this video. Maybe I'll even do a more deep dive into what is Fig Jam specifically. Either way, what is Figma? Well, Figma is an application that allows you to design things, but it also allows you to have more than one person on a canvas giving you a multiplayer experience where you can see everyone's cursor dragging around. Now, I've used this in collaborative design based experiences before, and I got to say it's incredible to be able to communicate through an application like this and have people all working together in one canvas. You can also bring your ideas to life, as they say, because you can do uh, some light interaction based things. But you also have the idea of components where you can create a component, publish a component to a component library, drop that into your canvas. Now, what Figma is not is it's not an application that will spit out code for you. Granted, there are plugins that aim to do that. But uh, me personally, I kind of stay away from all of that stuff as my primary experiences as a developer. I kind of don't want an app doing it for me. Right. Uh, but it allows you to create a powerful design system. In fact, we created our own design system on this thing, and it is incredible. We've had it for a long time. In fact, in I think I have some videos on their website at some point, but there is a ton of stuff in Figma. There's a huge community behind it, and you can do any of these things. Use cases, UI design, UX design, graphic design, wireframe framing, diagramming, brainstorming, templates, remote design agencies, Figma for education. That's something else entirely, right? So a lot of cool stuff here. Let's take a look at an actual Figma uh, dashboard. You can see I have a ton of Figma files. These are just my recents, not even all of my stuff. We use this for everything from our thumbnail design to our uh, website design. Our whole entire design system is in here. Let me even show you a little bit behind the scenes about our design system. And you have this big canvas where we have these things that are published as components, all of our cards, all of our form elements or anything is like that. We have these as components and they exist in a way where we can come in here to our assets. We can look at all of our different things. Maybe I want an avatar. And since I've already made this and defined this as an avatar, you can just click and drag it onto your canvas. And anybody who wants to use essentially the same primitives, the same smaller atoms or even larger things like a header, you can just click and drag them onto the design. Honestly, there's probably too many features within Figma to go over most of them in this video. That said, there's a lot of stuff that you can do to create a design system and work collaboratively. Now, in addition to all of that, there's some really neat auto layout things making mobile design a treat because what you can do is select and change how things will interact when the canvas changes size, like if it's pinned to this wall or if it scales with the container or what, or maybe you have an auto layout section which will auto lay things out or give them padding like real CSS and HTML buttons. Either way, you can do all of that and more within Figma. And the best part about all of this is, is that you can export your stuff as anything you want. SVGs, PNGs. Uh, I don't know if you can export a TIFF, but who would want to do <laughs> who would want to do that in 2022, right? We have all this cool stuff in here. And I actually use this quite a bit to do things even that it might not be made for. I mean, it's made for all sorts of stuff. But let's say we have 
uh, a, a thumbnail like this I've created. I've created these small little components for the thumbnail image, and then I have it automatically generate these ones that we use for marketing. Now available, coming soon, now available on leveluptutorials.com. And it even creates an SVG background for me that I can upload to our website to have on the actual background of the individual card. So Figma is so incredibly much, we use it for just about everything, and it's one of my favorite apps. What kind of application does, does this replace? It, it replaces um, Adobe XD, it replaces Framer, Sketch, those types of things, an illustrative design app. If you're still making websites in Photoshop, drop it. Nobody wants that stuff. Websites are not raster-based anymore. This is where it's at. Figma, any type of vector-based application that really works and functions in a way that makes it so you can quickly and easily design things that work across all browser sizes. This is the future, and it's incredible. So check it out at figma.com. Again, figma.com, not sponsoring this video, one of my favorite tools in the whole wide world. I think in the next What is Wednesday, we'll do What is Fig Jam, because Fig Jam is too much of a big topic on its own. Basically, it's a brainstorming tool but it's a big, big topic, okay? So this is What is Wednesday, and this is What is Figma. If you would like to uh, learn more about Figma or just about web dev in general, subscribe to this channel. Click the subscribe, ring that bell, all that stuff, whatever. We do three weekly videos. One, that's a VS Code pro tip for your text editing needs. A What is Wednesday or What is Web Development Wednesday where we talk about web development topics topics every single Wednesday and explain them as if you don't know what it is and just trying to give you some plain English behind it. And then we also have a weekly Svelte series. For those of you who are interested in the Svelte framework for JavaScript, I personally am a huge, huge fan, and this is the best place to gain a ton of new Svelte knowledge. So subscribe if you're interested in any of that stuff, or you just want to peruse the 2,000 videos we have on this. And also head on over to leveluptutorials.com. Sign up to become a pro today, and you will get a new tutorial series available to you every single month, just like a magazine subscription. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.